This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Guru Taj Khalsa. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? <laughs> I just enjoyed an amazing sunset. We don't get clouds here, and they were pink and fluffy. Like I just wanted to like jump into them. It was amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. What part of the world are you in right now? I'm in Los Angeles. All right, all right. Well, it's great to, to know that the sun is setting on your side. When it's gone on my side a couple of hours <laughs> ago. That's super cool. Well, do tell us, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history? I'm not exactly sure, but I think probably the fact that I love to give people tools because my whole thing is that Everybody need, you know, if you don't have energy, everything in your life sucks, right? So energy is the source of our connectivity to everything and our willingness. And having a really good toolkit to be able to change your energetic state. Um, we know more about our cars and our computers and our recycling our stuff than we do what to do with our own internal energy. So that is really important to me because... If we want to be angelic, we want to feel connected and loved and able to love, then we got to check our energy and see how we do that. Hmm. Couldn't agree more. Who did you learn that ability from? Well, I, you know, I studied uh, with many teachers, but my main teacher was Yogi Bhajan, and he just gave us things that gave us an experience of how to get high, how to get connected, how to get in love. He took a bunch of raging hippies and got us off of drugs and into what we really wanted was our connectivity with the all and everything. And so, you know, just taking these tools and I've come up with things that people can do in one to three minutes to totally change their energetic states. And everybody's got one to three minutes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's good. Yeah, if anyone is listening and you have 12 minutes, you definitely have one to three minutes. I mean, share one thing for, with us, please. Yes, I would love to share one thing with you. Um, sometimes we just feel like on complete overwhelm. So there's this really wonderful one, and we'll see how good I am at describing it. You're going to take your hands and take your thumb and put your thumb on the mound of your baby finger. We call it your mercury. And then wrap all the other fingers around that. It's called security mudra. So you feel like you've got your thumb inside of your other fingers, right? Make fists, thumb inside. And then you're going to take your hands over the top of your head and you're going to swing them in a backward motion as fast as you can, almost like a lasso. And you're just going to breathe as powerfully as you can. If you can stand up and do it, even if you're sitting down, you want to do it so powerfully, your whole body moves. And if you just do that for three minutes, you will change, you will clear off the top of your head, you will feel more clarity, more capacity to connect, and you get to clear your arc line as well, that energy around your head that we think of in saints, that only saints have it, but we all have it. It's just how light is our light, right? And uh, so that's it, Just, just you can just breathe and just wildly do that, as wildly as you can. It really gets you back to a state of innocence, which is where we're the most connected, right? One second, I'm still doing that here. Good. <laughs> I want you to do it. You know, it's, it's a really beautiful thing. And it's, if you move really quickly with your hands over the top of your head back, it's like you just to get to clear off all of this stuff that, you know, we keep pushing things in and going, oh, okay, one more thing I have to learn. I have to know. I have to keep track of. I have to, you know, uh, 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 uh. and then we just get to the place where we just want to explode. Well, before you get to that place. Try doing that exercise and it will give you a lot of clarity so you don't have to think you have to do everything, but you know what it is that you need to do. I love okay. it. Yeah. Where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with you? Um, my website is just gurutej.com, G-U-R-U-T-E-J.com. And there's, if you sign in, you get free, you know, there's some free things that just as you sign in and then. As you stay connected, we get to play together. Mm, that's it's wonderful. Just, because it's really, how do you have a good toolkit? Then how do you get the support that you need to create the habits that will sustain you? 
mm-hmm. because without good habits, <laughs> you're not going to make a change. Definitely. Oh. I totally agree. Well, Guru Tej, do tell us one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Um, goodness, a lot of things. I, I actually tend to be very consistent. I meditate every day. I meditate every day. I say prayers all around my house every day. I pray for my students, anybody who's in my magnetic field. I pray for them. I pray for the world. I pray for our leaders. Um, you know, those are things I do. I exercise. It's so important to exercise. You know, I do yoga. I rollerblade hills. I'm almost 70. You rollerblade hills and you're I'm almost 70? I'm almost, I'll be 70 in about five weeks. Oh, my Four. gosh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Good. It makes me feel like I'm grateful that I, I took care of my body. But I want to say to your listeners, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're listening and the longing of your soul is coming forth, this is your time to get on the train. This is your time to connect. This is your time, right? It, there is no, oh, I wish that I had done it then. No, now. Now is that time. Amazing audience. Amazing audience. Amazing audience. Live from Guru Taj again. But there's a bit of an echo. Amazing audience. Please keep with us if you're hearing it. But it's it's for a reason, most definitely. But the conversation is amazing. So keep with <laughs> us, right? Guru Taj, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Guru Taj, oh. what is your <laughs> earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory. Mm. My earliest childhood memory is a house that I lived in when I was still crawling. So I don't know how old I actually was, but I remember the house and my mother. So those, that was my earliest childhood memory. But when you said that you're surrounded by this blue Caribbean water, all I could think of was I just want to be in that. <laughs> That's what I want to be in. <laughs> Uh, so oh, yes. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Oh, I have lots of memories from childhood. It's not like, you know, I, I don't have any. I have a lot of them. Um, I don't think we were in that house for very long. And I think it was just like, it was sort of like the beginning when I started crawling. You know, my older sister was there and then we moved into another house and uh, I was one of uh, six children. So there was a lot of children happening. Mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Well, it's really interesting because I was brought up in a family that was extremely Catholic and I'm not one of those recovering Catholics. I, I really enjoyed, we went to mass every day. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed just being in our church was like a cathedral. It was a cathedral. And so I enjoyed the energy and I enjoyed the fact that people came in and you could feel the prayers and the chanting and the, and you could feel it in there. And I, it was a place of peace for me. So I, I enjoyed it. So I got an early start on having a spiritual practice. So I'm grateful for that. You know. That's amazing. All right, my friend. Well, if we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? What was my favorite song? Oh, um, God, it was one by, by Dion. I remember we did it in Girl Scouts. We sang, uh, I'm a wanderer. That's what my favorite song was. That's I'm a wanderer. Amazing. It's amazing how <laughs> these things connect, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I, yeah, got to move all over the world, really. <laughs> yes. Oh. Guess race that a lot. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. I'm still getting over that you're roller skating, right? I'm just saying, like roller blading. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to see a picture, right? Or a YouTube video. Something. Please. The world needs to see this. Yeah? Please. Oh, yes. Absolutely. There's, I, have, I have a huge YouTube channel. Oh, my so. gosh. I'll jump so. over there. I'm on it after this conversation. <laughs> like lots of meditations and all sorts of things that you can do. Yeah. Anything yeah. with you rollerblading? I don't think there's come any. Come on, Guru Tej. What is the. You... <laughs> come on. Get the GoPro, connect it, and, you know, let's see that, please. 
Rollerblading is what it is. Okay. <laughs> all right, my friend. All right. So let's get this going. So have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? You know, I, I teach all over the world, so it's not one person. It's um, I really get to, you know, I, I get to work with people privately. I get to, you know, teach all over the world. So I have been very blessed that I really, my thing is, is I want people to become teachers. And so, you know, I really support them in every way that I can. All right. Are you married? I'm married. Yes, I've only been married for seven months. <laughs> wow, you are breaking all these barriers. <laughs> so We've been you... together for nine years, but oh. we, we uh, yeah, we got married uh, seven months ago. All right, congratulations. <laughs> do you have children? I do, yes. It's... Yes, I have I have two children, yeah. Oh, do you believe in God? <laughs> I believe that there is so much... I think God is a stopgap hmm. to the vastness of, you know, the essence of creation. Do you yes. have an inner circle of friends? I have a great, great inner circle of friends. It's like, yes. Hmm. Do you yeah. watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three <laughs> hours a week? More than three hours a week? Yes, probably more than three hours a week. I watch a lot of documentaries. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, it depends on the day, but probably right around six to eight hours a day, yes. Guru Taj, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Guru Taj Khalsa, what would you say that is? I would say become your own energy, Guru because it's the most important thing that you can do to know how to change your energetic and emotional states. That's my life mission, is Love to help it. people too. Yeah. Love it. Great. Love it. Yeah. Again, this was such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I want to know more about you. <laughs> That's what I want to know more about. I'm like, okay. <gasps> yes. You know, I want to share that... Um, I do have flip charts on my site that are only $25 and they give you 18 exercises to release and 18 exercises to rejuvenate yourself in one to three minutes. You can carry them in your purse, your briefcase. You can put them on your desk. They stand up. They're very small, four by six, and they can basically save your life. They could be a life tool that you could actually change your own states if you have, you know, the willpower and the desire to actually know how to change your own energetic states. Love it. Love it. Well, Guru <laughs> Taj, this was such a great pleasure, my friend. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you. You're welcome. Bless. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise. <laughs>